All right. Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, excited for another weekly call with you guys, and we've got some exciting topics to discuss. So I know, Melanie, you um, were voluntold to, uh, to show us how to do some reels. <laughs> so we're excited for that. And then, you know, we've been talking in the chat a lot about this preferred customer. Um, thanks for everybody for sharing videos and really helping shine some light on what this means. But um, I think it would be really great for us all to dive in and really talk about that. What does it mean for us as coaches? What does it mean for our coaches? What does it mean for future coaches? And really just get these questions out there so either we can get answers or go find them. Um, is there anything else we wanted to cover tonight while we we're on the call we should add? Are we gonna try and cover reels and the preferred customer on the same night? Great question. Um, I'm thinking since the preferred customer is kind of like a little more urgent, maybe we should start there and then we can talk about reels. But I, I don't, I also want to be mindful, Melanie, that you probably spent some time planning to talk about this and, and maybe you didn't. I, Not I really. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> like, I didn't know if you had like a PowerPoint. <laughs> Okay, I mean, yeah, no, I whichever one, I just feel like if we talk about preferred customer, that one is going to be a lot more in depth and probably more time just because there's a lot yeah. more to it than a reel. So yeah. I don't care if we do that one. I'm not saying I, I'm not saying that I'm hesitant about doing the reels. I'm not. Um, but I don't think we can jam pack both of those in one night without having people be like, Ugh, yeah, with too much no, information. Absolutely. So. So That's all. yeah, great call out. Thanks for that. Um, I think that being said, we should dive into the preferred customer um, and figure that out so we can at least have some takeaways. And then I can adjust topics if we aren't able to get to the reels tonight and we can have that for next week. Well, the next week, the body, no, we've got two weeks before body in the mixed bike launches. Cause I know, um, team wanted to talk about like inviting and stuff uh, right before the 21st, before things transition over. So, yes. <laughs> like I'm in school. I went through one of those PDFs of, it's gonna be so many changes for us on the 21st. Like, I think yeah. I, um, I was in the middle of, of watching a video that was done by my upline upline and it was around what Doug Moss had talked about to those on the round table. So, and it was on body and the mixed bikes. And so um, I think I'm probably gonna share that in the group. I wanna get through it before I do, before I do but I was, uh, cause I was like, is this, is this good information? Like. So far, I mean, it's decent information, but like the first, like third of it is, has to do with our team, which isn't connected at all. So I don't know, like maybe I'll say fast forward to here and start watching probably that would help. But yeah, so she's doing a really good job of describing body and um, how it's beneficial. Also the total solution packs that aren't coming until October. She touched on that, um, which now not. I'm a little bit excited about. Um, um, what do you mean they're not coming until October? That's when they're going to come is in October. They're not coming right away. They're, oh, I thought they were, they're not launching on the 21st. The total solution packs aren't launching then. Mm -mm. Oh, what's happening so, on the 21st then? body and mix so the mixed bikes are being will be okay. able to purchase and mm -hmm. then body is opening up so right now body's only yeah. in the beta testing right. so it's only open for nutrition right. plus members and, and mostly coaches yeah. um so, so that's she's going up. over that stuff yeah. and like yeah. detailing it and what and whatnot so that's all i've gotten through i haven't gotten past that she had just transitioned and said apparently like on the 21st, when the mixed bike becomes able to purchase, that's also when there's going to be cycling classes available. So, um, yeah. So I guess it's like immediately, not that's like interesting. anybody without like a mixed bike yeah. already in their house. We're going to be like, yay, we'll yeah. stand there and cheer you on while you cycle. That's kind of <laughs> odd, but okay. I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, if you order your mixed bike and you can't take the classes that are available. 
but there are people that already have a mixed bike and mm -hmm. there are people that are going to use their um, Peloton. There's also people that are going to sell their Peloton and buy a mixed bike. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, there's a lot of that going on, yeah. but yeah. So um, yeah, I should probably be finishing that. Well, I'm not going to finish it tonight. I'm just being honest. I'll finish it tomorrow. It's not happening. Are you talking about the training on uh, the beach body site? I mean, the no. champion's page? No. Okay. If there is one, then maybe you should share that. <laughs> I thought I saw something that there was going to be a training this week on the beach, on the champion's page. No, this is, this know. was in... This was in my my upline, like my grandfather grandmother upline team. Oh, yeah, gotcha. So. All right. So, questions. Preferred customer. What questions do people have? Wasn't there like a um a question on our page that has like multiple questions on it maybe we can just go down the line on yeah that. and kim i think you started that thread right yes she did thanks kim let's go you're muted kim <laughs> thanks i was just reading the update on body and the um and mix bikes that's in the um in team B in the coach office today. Did you guys know that they're, did, did you guys already know? It looks like they're continuing beta. Through the 20th. It says, however, in testing the commerce experience of body, we discovered certain issues that didn't meet our expectation. So we made the decision to delay selling the various body memberships until those issues can be resolved. And they'll maintain the beta status. So that would mean that people wouldn't be able to purchase body at the, I can't remember what the rate is. I know it's 298 for bod and body. Um, so but people September, could still get 1995 and purchase it. it says on September 21st, we'll begin selling the mix bike, the mix two bike in the US and adding indoor cycling classes to the body beta library. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you guys know that they come and put it together for you? I didn't know that. Yes. Part of the... I think it comes put together. Yeah. The, A lot of times the graphic that I read said that it comes, um, it, it, they put it together when they deliver it. Oh, cool. Yeah, like Jen said, the white glove service. Yeah, yes. a lot of times they do that and then they'll walk you through how to use it. I mean, that's what they did with Peloton. They, it's just part of the delivery. Um, my question is about, okay, so Jen's questions about coaches mainly changing their account to preferred customer. Can they do that now? How and the benefits to do that manually is? Yeah, so as Lily said, yeah, people can change right now. Um, I think the video that Chris, the very short video that Christine, um, that Robin shared about Christine Dwyer has a really quick, simple way to, to show you how to transfer. I'm with you though, Jen. I think the, for me, my understanding, the only benefit for that to have a coach change right now is if your Emerald status is in jeopardy. Right. So I'm in the middle of composing an email to all of my coaches and I'm going to share Christine Dwyer's recent, like she just did it like 30 minutes ago and Denise shared it to our coaching page. I think it's better than her previous one from what I've seen so far. I only got like five minutes in, but it seems more structured. Whereas her first video, I was getting very lost in like what she was saying. So I, I think she got some slides created or someone gave her something to explain it better. <clears throat> and so I'm going to, um, I'm going to put it in the chat here. I'm just going to post this v Vimeo link in the email to my coaches and ask them to please, it's important that they review this video um, bef well before September 30th. And if they're okay with remaining a preferred customer, if, they're, if, they're, if their status is going to be changed to that, because they're just simply a discount coach, 
if they're okay with that, they should manually do it before the 30th because, and I didn't want it to sound like it was just for my own benefit because that makes it awkward. I've been in this situation before where I've had to be like, you don't have any PV, you know, like I'm, I have plenty of coaches where I'll still remain emerald if, um, if I lose a lot of coaches to preferred, but I, I still would rather have them placed under me if they want to be a preferred coach. You know what I mean? Like, so I just want to make sure I word it well, and maybe we all can take a look at some wording. Like I could share my wording before I hit send. And then this way we know exactly how we should be wording it to our current customers. Because when Denise says she's concerned, I wasn't sure if she's concerned about her own status or like losing her team, you know, if she's Emerald, like there could be some people worried about that too. So it'd be great if we can, you know, share some, something with our coaches, um, before, well before the 30th, like maybe by the, you know, by this coming week or something or by the weekend. So, oh, were, I, were they, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Kim. So were they saying that if you're a coach and you have two coaches under you, giving you emerald status and if they both go to preferred customers you won't be emerald anymore is that or did it I'm if kidding. they manually change their status themselves before the 30th then they will count as spots for you to re remain emerald is what i'm thinking as long as everybody's active that's the key right. thing here that we all need to know everybody's got to remain active right so even a preferred customer has to be ordering and then you yourself need to have an order every six months or a new enrolled customer or coach. Right. But you don't lose your status though, as an but emerald. You wouldn't lose your status if they, if they, if you only have two people and that's what makes you emerald and right. they don't manually change themselves, you jeopardize losing emerald. Why though? Yeah. Why? I don't know. That's why I, I want to be cautious with the wording because it could be very sensitive. Like I don't want to have to push people to do it manually, but yet I, I would want to keep them, you know, as Hon part of honestly. Yeah. What I wrote because I did it to, um, well, obviously my husband is one of them, so I can just do him, yeah. but yeah. I did it to, uh, my sister's one, so it was no big deal what I told her. I just told her to do it. <laughs> yeah. um, so it didn't matter. But to two of my other people, I just basically, um, I wrote, I started out, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said, you may have gotten an email from Beachbody that your account was mm -hmm. changing from coach status to preferred customer, which you would get the same perks, except you won't get the pesky emails from corporate. Wondering yep. if you could log in and change your status manually. I just found out that if you don't and being where you, where you're placed under me and Beachbody does it, I will lose my coach status and all of my people under me. I was just, brutal. I was just honest because that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So that's just what I did. Maybe I haven't read or listened to enough trainings because I didn't think that would happen as long because Robin, you have people under you that order as right. a customer. Yeah, you have customers. So, so why would that? So even if it's almost somebody, like you need, it's almost like you need them in agreement, Lily. That's why I feel like they said they have to do it manually because it's then, almost like then you've had a conversation with them and they're in agreement with it. Do you know what I'm saying? No. So it's like an opt-in. They basically have to re-opt-in. Otherwise, they drop yeah. down to a customer and they can float to anybody. Is that what, what it sounds like? I don't that doesn't, that no. doesn't sound like, I, because that's not the email they're getting. And my understanding was that the six, as a preferred customer, you still have to wait six months before you can change coaches, just like a regular uh -huh. coach. So I would think, again, I didn't watch this new video that Christine put out there, but I would think that... If I, again, I have like 20 people under me, they're all going to preferred customer. I have no, you know, I don't have any working coaches. So all 20 of those people, my understanding is that they will transition to preferred customer, whether they do it manually or Beachbody automatically does that. And they will still be under me. I will still be their coach and I will still be an Emerald coach because I don't have any working coaches. So that's what I understood. 
But I, again, I haven't had a chance to watch anything this week that's been put out because I've been too busy. So if there's new information, I don't have that. But from the information from last week, that's what I understood. Because if they didn't have to make the change, they were manually automatically that way. Yeah, right. Is that or what you automatically, mean? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. But the problem is, is that so if you are sitting in a position where you're going to drop rank, which you would have an X, you should have an X instead of a green little checky. Mm -hmm. Then if one of your people doesn't purchase something as a preferred customer or a customer, or if you don't have a new customer or preferred customer sale within the time before that little red or that orange X, the expiration of that date comes around, then you will drop. But as long as one of those people as a preferred customer or customer or a new customer or preferred customer makes a purchase under you, you will not drop rank. And then they will change. I mean, according to the email that they're receiving, I'm sure we've all gotten, I've gotten tons of them saying, explaining what's going to happen. And it's telling them that they're going to get moved to a preferred customer unless they enroll a coach or a preferred customer or make a sale to a customer or preferred customer. Otherwise, they're going from coach to preferred customer. So, that's my understanding. yeah, that's what I have gotten. So, um, <laughs> like for instance, so Scott, he, his mom, is dropping to preferred customer. I don't know why his dad isn't. His dad doesn't sell anything, but he is military. So I don't know if military is gaining an extension or something, but he still has a little check mark. Yeah, and my husband does too. And well, he's military. Okay, well, so he won't, cause you don't get a discount as, as a preferred customer. You don't get the military discount as a preferred customer. Right. Um. So yeah, so that person, yeah. So in order to make sure that, you know, if you, yeah, so Scott doesn't have to do anything because his mom's going to, he still has a green checky and his mom has an orange check or orange X. So she's going to go to prefer a customer. And then when her Shaco comes in, it'll just go ahead and um, it'll just go ahead and give him what he needs in order to remain Emerald because he will continue to receive an order through her as a preferred customer. Does that make sense? Yes. Military does get a pass, but it's an undisclosed time frame. They didn't say for how long. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I think it would be good of Beachbody to even do it for preferred customers. I don't see why. Yeah. But you know, I guess we'll see what corporate does. Yeah, I agree. So the only, like the one question I have is just how, how simple is it for people who want to start selling? So if I have, you know, preferred customers who are like, I want, my friend wants to sign up right now and they're preferred customer. So I'm just curious how that goes. Again, I don't know. I don't know what that looks like yet. I think it's, they just submit a form, don't they, Lily? My understanding is you buy a challenge pack again and add the coach thing to it and they can be, become a coach again for six months. But or what if they, they can buy anything and they just like their best friend decides they want beach buddy. And what was that? What if they don't want to actually buy anything? Like they're a preferred customer. They, you know, get Shakeology routinely, but they don't want to rebuy anything, but their best friend wants to sign up. And so they want to get the commission off of it. But so they want to sign and up. And they would probably need to pay the 40 bucks to sign yeah. up as a coach again. Okay. Yeah. Would be my understanding. <laughs> Kim, I'm just getting more and more confused. <laughs> well, let's, that's what, let's talk about that. What, what, um, yeah, where are you confused? How much do you prefer customers to pay monthly? 15.95. Same as your coach fee. Yeah, because that's why I was like, what is the difference between preferred customer and coach? The only difference is preferred customers do not submit their social security number, meaning they cannot earn money off of anything. They do not earn anything. There's no EFT because there's no electronic funds to transfer to them. They still will remain in the exact same spot in your downline. Remember, they, they could be placeholders. 
and they still have to wait six months to transition to any other coach. And they so, can't, uh, they can't go to summit. They can't go to summit. They can go to super weekends. I yeah. think, I don't know. They probably pay less at super weekends because they're not a coach. They can pay the guest price. Yeah. Depending on how your council runs it. Absolutely. Um, but, but again, I thought when don't... you said preferred customers would be placeholders, I thought they, that means they counted towards your rank. They do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I have two preferred customers under me, then uh, I'm an Emerald, right? But as long as you have it. Yes. As long as you have a, a sale. And mm -hmm. right. that, that they get their Shakeology every month. Yeah. Yes. Or okay. 100%. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I think that was the, the new thing that was coming up. Cause again, I was like, does that mean I get a new coach? Because what I read within all that was you also have to be, to be a coach. So for us to be coaches, we still have to be actively getting new people coming in. Mm -hmm. So if you have someone who is a coach, like your upline, who's just sitting there, just getting recurring, you know, their Shakeology orders, their PV, whatever. Now that might change for somebody who's not actively working the business, but I don't know enough about what that would look like. Um, you know, basically coaches who aren't hitting success club or getting success club points or just really generating any new sales. Right. I mean, all, all my coaches right now, and there's not that many, but there's like eight or nine of them and they, they're just all getting their own shake, getting their own discount on their Shakeology or whatever, or the, whatever. So they'll all be preferred customer. I think I only have one that won't be and one that will stay a coach because she wants to go to summit. Mm -hmm. So my question is then, cause I'm in the same boat, got 20 ish people here, you know, all going to be preferred customers. So if I just stop working the business, does that mean that I will lose rank eventually and drop down to preferred customer if I don't bring in any new people in the next couple months? It sounds like, I mean, the, so the minimal requirement is one sale to one person. Over but, six months. But so that's which first, means right? that you could sell. No, which it's means just a customer or a preferred customer that, that makes you 50 EV. Oh, I didn't even that's think, that, I don't, I didn't, I thought Christine said there was no Minimal. There was no EV. Oh, okay. No, you, I thought it was. So you can sell a thing of, of bands to somebody for 10 bucks. And as long as it generates a dollar amount mm -hmm. right. and um, you're, that's a sale. Yeah. But again, it can be to any customer, any preferred customer, though okay. so existing or new. One enrollment. Okay. So yeah, what? Jen just put in here to remain a coach. One of the below activities is required every six months. So yeah, mm -hmm. so to one sale generating personal volume to customer or preferred customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so nothing changes. This is straight all straight from the FAQ that I'm like posting for you guys, where it says start here to learn about it. There's really awesome charts and tables in there that show the differences between customer, preferred customer, coach like how to enroll a preferred customer, how to change a coach to preferred customer and like all these things. So, um, you know, I would just mark some time on your calendar to open that up and start reading through it and maybe just keep it open for a while in your desktop or something um, or make some notes in a notebook, whatever is important for you to learn because um, I think what I'm going to do is start with my current coaches and then I'm going to move on to customers and let them know this is now available to them, how they can easily change, what the benefits are, et cetera, et cetera. Because a lot of, uh, I think the reason why a lot of people held back from coaching was simply because it said coach. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, yes, there is a membership fee of the 1595, but heck they get 25% off. They get, you know, I would still mention the community aspect of it. I would still mention like first, um, you know, prior to prioritization of like knowledge and like, I don't know, just make boost it up and make it seem like it's this big thing. So you get the early access to the- All Right, but they don't have to give their social. They don't have to sign up as like a business owner. They don't have any sort of, um, you know, minimums or anything like that. Not that we ever did. We could go inactive, but you know, 
Yeah, I think yeah. it was just uh, Christine's video that really threw me. I think I was, I thought I was good before, but then like that thought her like, don't lose rank. Like, yeah. and then I, I thought maybe I misunderstood. Honestly, well, no, she I was in a bit of a panic myself. Yeah. And I've been doing this, I mean, I'm yeah. sure you guys that have been doing this a long time felt mm -hmm. the same way. All of a sudden I started questioning my own business and I'm like, mm -hmm. what? I like have sales all every week. <laughs> What is, why am I panicking? But I was thinking like, oh my God, I need a new customer. And, and it's every six months, guys. Like we got this, you know, I mean, come on, right? Well, yeah. and that's probably why she put a new video out because obviously a bunch of coaches came to her and said, I don't understand. <laughs> Like, am I going to lose so, my rank? <laughs> I mean, there was one part where she, yeah, it, it was very confusing what she actually said. And I was like, I, I don't know. I was just like, you're, you're incorrect in what you're saying. I'm sure you're just misspeaking because you're like trying to get this information out, but it was not, it was not a good boo-boo on her part. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh. But in reality, as an Emerald, yes, if, if you only have two people that you depend on to remain Emerald 100%, you don't have any other customers, any other anything, then yes, one of those two need to be moved down to a preferred customer in order for you to not drop rank. But otherwise, there's like no like anxiety and stress. I agree. I got to roll, ladies. I'm sorry. A picture. Hold on. Oh, yeah, take a picture. Who's right, taking it? I don't have a phone near me, so I can take one. I can. I can, I can try to. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. Thank awesome. you. Sorry, I got a roll. No worries. Okay. Thanks, Jen. Good to see you. I, I think it's actually a good opportunity. We all might pick up a lot of preferred customers from people that were too hesitant to be. Yeah. Right. So what's, um, so if you have your, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm totally thinking this wrong. So if an Emerald has their, their two people. So what if you're, you're one person on your one leg is not a consistent orderer. She's, she doesn't, she, she doesn't, she doesn't order mm. my one person on mm -hmm. my one leg. Who's the only person on your leg? No, I, I think she's got, I think there's somebody else under her. I think I got somebody else on, on that same leg. Is that going to matter? As long as you have a customer that orders every six months, you're good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which side. Yeah, I don't think it doesn't matter. No. All right. Now, if she cancels completely and cancels preferred customer, and she's like out of your, off of your leg completely, I think that's when it would matter. Yeah. Well, yeah. It would depend if, if the person that's under her isn't also um, a preferred customer or coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then yes. Yeah. And then if she would quit that person would roll up to you and actually fill right. that spot so yeah that too. yeah yeah she's ready to go oh sorry <laughs> all right <laughs> my husband came peeking in <laughs> no you're fine so anybody have any other questions I, mean, I think we still have a lot to learn but i think from what we're hearing it's not going to change very much just pay attention to your back office the next few weeks. Keep an eye on it, um, but ask questions. Like I know Kim has that great thread in here. So yeah, I missed it. I tried to find that. I scrolled like back, and then I just searched under Kim, and I can't find it. And I'm probably just scrolling right past it. I must yeah, be. Yeah, I'll just tag you in it real quick because I have it open on my computer. Um, I was like, I can't. <laughs> so so Kim was asking if we should. Have our coaches that won't make qualify qualification manually transfer to preferred customers. So I think we kind of addressed that. I don't think you have to have your coach manually transfer. I think it's only if you're in jeopardy of losing rank, which right. means you only have two coaches and one on each leg. Um, can preferred customers go to summit? No. The coaches can't answer that. But you know what they could do is if they really want to go to summit, 
I would think, I mean, I might be wrong, so don't quote me on this, but in my mind, um, they could just sign up as a coach, right? I mean, within the six months of summit, and then they're qualified to go to summit because they have six months. So if they really want to go, then they have to pay an additional $40 or get it for free through buying a challenge pack. Mm -hmm. For for my coach, I just, all she has to do so that she doesn't become a preferred customer is have her husband buy a t-shirt, you know, for her or buy a samples or collagen like it's or a band from 645 like and that that's it I mean that's that's the cheapest way to do it yeah I think the easiest way I mean first I started out with hey do you have any customers you know that might you know and she's like oh I don't really think I have anybody interested so I mean well any other product that she uses like if she if she's on Shakeology regularly and she gets energized she can order the energized through her husband and what she what he pays in commission pays her in, so, you know, like, yeah, so. Yeah, so, I mean, it's really, it shouldn't be a big deal if, if, since it's one purchase every six months. I mean, if anybody's slightly interested in staying a coach, they just should, you know. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah, right. we could send Lily, so I could send my kids since they do the product and just by them buying the product, I would stay a coach. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, you just need to have your kid, um, your daughter, sign up under her own account and mm-hmm. order her own supplies, Shakeology and Energize, and then yes, then you would stay a coach okay. and not change to a preferred customer. Yes. Right. So, Kim, you asked the other question here. Should you try to keep your spouse a coach? That's a really good question. What are I thought we decided that there were other than if you had a rank, you would want to keep your spouse a coach. But other than that, there was no real reason until you're actually ready to build that leg if you're going to. Yeah, I think Deanna said that she was just going to let it go to preferred until she was going to build that like that. Uh, I remember we we did discuss it before. Yeah, and I remember too, Jen, talking about how she would just cancel her husband's account. So you're not having to pay $15.95 a month. And then when she's ready to rebuild, reactivate his account, because the only thing is if you have a lot of carryover, that would be, you would want to do that because you would lose that carryover volume um, if he was ever, he or she was ever at Emerald. But if you, you know, like, yeah, if, if you need, if you don't need it, I don't know that it's necessary at this point, if you have enough other preferred customers under you. But if you cancel his account completely and change him to a customer, not a preferred customer, then you would lose his spot though in your in your genealogy though. So if you ever plan on building in the future, you wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. Depending upon where they are placed, if it is right. in a spot that is um, ad- advantageous to, to you to build from. If it's not, then yeah, then there's no reason. As, again, as long as they don't like, I mean, for Scott, he has, yeah, he, he has the, the volume and he also has customer leads that have been given to him that I've worked with. So he has two. Yeah. Actually, he really has (laughs) (laughs) at periods of time, but, um, but yeah, so cool. So what other, any other preferred customer questions? No? I will say that one of the things um, it kind of was just said was that um, you can invite your preferred customers onto a team page. And um, that was actually one of the things that um, Melissa Hudgens just said was that you know, there's no reason why you couldn't add a preferred customer to a team page because it gives them that many more tools that they have to be able to see the community and and um, possibly inspire them to turn into coaches and they can always remove themselves. So as long as you tell them, I know I personally don't like getting added to groups without my permission. It's like, 
something that annoys me about other companies. Um, but, you know, just tell them I'm, I'm adding you to this team page and this is the stuff that we've got. And it just gives them that much more um, additional resources and um, another perk of the preferred customer aspect. I agree. That's a, yeah, that's a great idea. And it keeps them kind of plugged in and of, you know, what's going on with all of us and, and you never know when they might decide that it's their turn to become a coach and mm -hmm. start coaching. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, all my, my coaches are most likely going to go to preferred customers. So I'm not removing them from my team page. Like they're just going to stay there. <laughs> so, and they'll stay in our stronger together page too. Cool. All right. Any other questions, Kim? What do you got? I was just going to say, I guess we don't need to, uh, you know, worry about a launch for our, uh, for the 21st for a uh, body for our like information group. I guess we can kind of drag that out until yeah. we never put a date on it. Yeah. If they did change the data, that's kind of, we can still, but we can just still keep posting you guys that are having a chance to do your workouts and stuff, <laughs> build some enthusiasm that way. Yeah. And ramp up the cycling. I mean, cause there are people that have bikes at home, but it doesn't have to be a Peloton or a mixed bike or you can just, you can actually have a mountain bike on a little, if you guys ever had those, they have um, mm -hmm. little stationary things that you put your bike in and the yeah. back of the spins. That's how, where I started. So yeah. um, people have options and some people, if it's raining out, you know, just so it's just giving people those additional options and sharing um, just something else to do. Yeah. Kyla's got a Nordic track. She rides, rides her bike. So um yeah, just thinking about those different options. And I'm trying to share a little bit more about the, the day passes that are coming too. Like I want to get people excited about that. Because I think even though they're ridiculously expensive, I mean, there's what, $7.50, it's really not that expensive. But in the grand scheme of things, it's it's expensive when you think about how much it costs for a yearly or member, you know, the membership. That being said, people will pay it. And I'm, just, I'm saying that as I mean, I'm a very frugal person. Every time I go to Chicago, I spend $30 to go to a cycling class. It's stupid. I know, but I do that because it, I don't go shopping. <laughs> so it, it avoids, you know, from other things. So I'm just saying like, you have that as another tool in your tool belt to show, share with people. Um, it's a, it's a great option. And for people to not have to commit to anything, they will pay more. You know how people are. So what do you got, Lily? Yeah, actually, we have a question. Um, so I have a, a customer that's thinking about signing up um, with the mixed bike, um, but her question was with the Peloton, if do you have to have an active subscription to use it? And does the same thing apply to the mixed bike? Can you just go down and ride it? And but would you not just get any stats and you wouldn't be able to join any classes, obviously? or does it not work at all? It will work. It does work. I know for sure the Peloton works. You have to ride it in um, like the scenic ride mode or the basic mode. Again, there's no stats. It might tell you your output and stuff. I've never done it in that mode, but um, that's the disadvantage. But if people don't, if people aren't used to that, they're not going to know any different. Like if they're just riding in an indoor cycling class, they're going to be excited to just be in the class and you're going to get excited. The metrics aren't going to be a big deal. So, you know, if they want to get a cheap bike, I mean, Sam's Club Costco has like $300 bikes. If that's something a little more affordable for people. I, I still recommend that. Get those cheaper bikes if you want to and use your tablet for those types of things. So what they will do is the interface, obviously they wouldn't be using the monitor for cycling, but they could still use their monitor for um, obviously not the Peloton, but you can use the mixed bike monitor for any of your other bod workouts. And because it swivels, if you have that in your workout space, you can actually replace TVs. You can replace having to have devices. Like that can be your new TV or, or however you want to call it, because you can stream all the programs and all the live classes through there. Um, so like for me, if I want to do a body class on the Peloton, I'm just going to put my iPad up and just, I'm going to have still my metrics through the Peloton app and through my Fitbit, but it's not going to directly link to body. So I would have to go in and manually add that as a cycling workout if I needed to add that to the, to my body app. But mm 
Um, yeah, did I answer your question? Yeah, I, yeah, I just figured that um, you would be able to use it, but you wouldn't get any stats basically right. from the from either the mixed bike or the Peloton, I would imagine. Yeah, then even like with the Peloton, like what I did on my old bike, I paid for the Peloton app. So it was only like $13 a month. And I, again, I just rode with my laptop right next to me and I just rode. And so I had no stats. I wasn't on the leaderboard. So that's another thing too, you can share. Like if someone is really motivated by being on the leaderboard or getting those call outs, which are pretty exciting when someone, you know, like I said today, Lee was said, you know, just, I don't know if he's really talking to me, but whatever, but I was like, Oh my God, like I wanted to push harder. And like, so people get excited about that kind of stuff, you, you know, encourage that. And, you know, you think you don't get excited, but you do, you do, but, um, it really just depends on people's personalities. There's some people who are like, I want to be, I want to wear beige and blend in. I do not want to be seen. I don't want anybody to know I'm working out. And so it's kind of just feeling people out for how, and where they are, um, where their motivators are. And so I think someone explained it the other day. Well, I think we've talked about this too, with, with body and the, the body, the live classes. It's like, if you are into the group exercise and like going to the gym, you're going to love body. You're going to love that kind of an atmosphere. But if you're more of a, do your own thing, you might want to go into a program and, and just try one of those. And if you really like personal training, then you're going to love 645 because that has basically a personal trainer for you for 45 minutes a day. Like, you know, so like, it just depends on where people are at and how they, they want to, to do different things, but it gives them variety. You know, they can take it to the gym if they want, they can take it on vacation if they want. Um, just kind of nice. So. Yeah. All right. What other questions? So does anybody have anybody for sure getting a mixed bike? Lily, you do? That's I awesome. know, I'm getting one. Oh, you were getting one. And I think Jen, <laughs> she's getting one too. That's awesome. What about you, Jess? We might be getting one. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, we might be getting one. And then I have a customer who's, who's uh, planning on getting one. So. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. No, I will not be getting one unless I become independently wealthy and put a mixed bike at the cabin. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> you never know. You might get jealous of our mixed bike too. I know. They're so pretty. They're pretty. I do like my Peloton though. But I liked my other bike too, and it was $250. So <laughs> the stats are nice. I will say it's pretty cool to see your output and it makes you want to work harder. So that's really cool too. I'm excited for you guys though, because having like, I would love to have my beach body workouts on that screen. Like that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. so I've been doing beach body workouts for years, you know, going on almost like 15 years. So I already loved them and it's a lot cheaper than Peloton. <laughs> so stupid. Even the monthly, so a monthly subscription on Peloton is $39 a month. And that's expensive. I and mean, we don't pay that much even for body and bod together. Wow. Okay, I am officially like overly obsessed with the body platform. Yeah. <laughs> I just signed up to reserve a spot for Lee Jimenez body camp in the morning. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. I still have a six four five workout. Oh my god! Wait, what time is his workout tomorrow then? Yeah. Um, eight a.m. Joel, Joel was doing a six a.m. one. Is he not doing one now? It's eight a.m. I don't know. Um, Wasn't he at seven? Yeah, Joel's at seven. Mm -hmm. Um, so that would be five a.m. your time. Yeah. Yeah. I, was I can't at seven, early, but I was working. I can't at seven. I have to be, I have to be run. I'm, I'm driving at seven o'clock. <laughs> so I can't be working out at seven o'clock. Yeah, they're really, really fun and addicting. And 
it's it's a whole different like type of a workout. It's crazy. Yeah. Who hasn't got to do a like, body workout yet? Like we said, when we when we did all that workout um, together, when we were all together, and it was like thirteen of us, and we were all doing the same move at the same time, it was just cool and super inspiring, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was so. very very cool. Yeah. yeah, it really was. Well, and what I keep saying is the difference is so like, I don't know, I don't know how many people have gone to live fitness group classes or group fitness classes, but in group fitness classes, even like at summit. So when the trainer would come down, cause the trainers actually used to come off the stage every once in a while. But so when the trainer would get close to you, you like as soon as you noticed they were coming to you, if there was any part of you that was the only half giving it, <laughs> all of a sudden you're like in hyper mode. Like, oh no, I gotta be doing this 100%. I gotta have great form. I have to keep up. No matter how much you are dying inside, you're like, I have to just keep going because if I don't, they're gonna come over to me and they're gonna say something to me. And so, but the thing is, is when you're on camera, that's all the time. The trainer doesn't walk around the room. You never know when the trainer is looking at you or going to be looking at you and going to say something to you. And it's like, okay, like today I picked up heavier weights than I should have picked up in that last round. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am seriously going to vomit. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm not dropping these weights. But if I was not on camera, I would have put those weights down and I would have gotten lighter weights and moved on with my life. But instead, I just kept going. I went slower, but I was not putting those weights down. Cause yeah, I just knew like as soon as I would go to set them down, the camera would go on to me. What are you doing? <laughs> Beverly, stop slacking. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. It's That's when we get called out. <laughs> We're standing in the corner of the room. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. That was so embarrassing. I was so embarrassed for her. Who did? Joel, Joel called a girl out on his workout. She was literally, I was watching, I was doing the workout with Lily and, and I watched her like, as soon as he said it, they showed her on the screen she was like this little itty bitty thing in the corner of the back of the room and she like slowly moved back to the center of the room oh. and it was like oh my gosh but he totally called her out he's like he's like stephanie what are you doing in the corner of the room get over here and start working out like <laughs> oh my gosh it was so embarrassing it was like it was like what my son, my sons would say. It was cringy. It was like, oh gosh, no. Oh, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Of course. Yes. But it does but, make yeah. me feel harder. I mean, it really, really does. I'm excited for different times and, you know, getting more options out there for people. So everybody has an opportunity to try. Yeah. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Really exciting. All right. Well, I don't know that we have enough time to dive into the reels tonight. Um, so we still have a couple minutes left. Does anybody have anything else they want to go over? What do you got, Kim? Are you leaving us? Sorry, I gotta I gotta keep working. So I'm gonna I'm gonna blame. No, I'm just kidding. I get it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to jump off in a couple minutes because I got to go as well. But I have to show you. This is, this is where we are. Where are you? Where Where is this? It's beautiful. We're, we're, um, we're, in, a, we're in a resort in the, so the Olympic Mountains are right over there. Um, so we're west of Seattle on the Sound at this hey. event. So, but I got to, yeah, I got to, I got to get back to work too. Okay. Well, have <laughs> fun. Enjoy those views. <laughs> Yes, awesome. it's, a, it's very amazing. We got to take a I boat can. ride this night. Nice. She's like about an hour to two hours away from me. Yeah, I drove right, well, 
I'll drive right by your house tomorrow on the way home. Yeah, we've been at the resort. It's an amazing. It's a. It's it's the, the views are 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 are, 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 are they're amazing. <laughs> they are just amazing there. So it's a really pretty resort. But yeah, um, we an hour, hour and a half, two hours tops with traffic. It's it's really pretty. Right. If, it is, if you come visit Seattle, I would highly recommend it. What's it called? It's called Alderbrook Resort and Spa. It's like tucked away in its own little corner nice. kind of thing. You had me at yeah. in Spa. I'm fine. That's in great. Spa. <laughs> in Spa. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Well, hopefully you guys can meet up tomorrow. Uh, I I probably will be Zooming home at seven to try to get my kids from my mom. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. Unfortunately, but we are going to try to go hiking in a couple of weeks, right? Oh, fun. Yep. Yep, yep. That sounds fun. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that one. That'll be really fun. And um, we also yeah. have meal prep class this weekend, so just drop a little reminder in for Sunday. Yes, has she posted anything in the group? Like I said, I haven't had a chance to look at anything. Uh, she yeah. Oh, her re the recipes are in there. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Grab those. Yeah. Um, yeah. I won't be able to be on. I was, I, I don't know where my brain was when I was like so super excited because I'm like, yes, all right, yay. And I loved all the recipes and I was super excited. And then I was like, oh yeah, we've had plans for like a month and a half. Nice. Okay. All right. That was fun. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Welcome Walker. back to school and fall and all the, oh, all, the all the activities, all the activities. So yeah. That's how it goes. It is what it is. All right. Anything else? Did we have any other just random questions, coaching questions, workout questions? Who has done a body workout other than me? <laughs> Mel, you haven't tried one yet? Kyla, you did oh, one? I have. Oh, okay. I've, I've, so I've done a couple, done. just not recent, not like within the last week or so. Cool. I've done replays, but I've not caught any of the lives. Yeah. I can't get the replays to play without kicking me out. So y'all are doing better than me. <laughs> Every time I try to replay one, I get like a couple minutes in, even if I like fast forward through, then it'll just kick me out 30 seconds later. It's yeah. like, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on, yeah, that's but maybe that's one of the glitches that they're wanting to work out under the beta name before it goes 100% live. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to stop recording.